Gallium nitride, the semiconductor of choice for 5G electronics and large search radars, is in making of transitioning into fighter aircraft's fire control radar, promising the single largest leap in performance since the active, electronically scanned array revolution in the late 1990s. A technological shift from traveling wave tubes to gallium arsenide chips enabled the packaging of active, electronically scanned arrays AESA into the cramped nose domes of fighters two decades ago. Now, far more powerful gallium nitride GAN technology is finally approaching critical mass for the same application. Advanced fabrication techniques have increased the hardiness and lowered the cost of GAN semiconductors, paving the way to introduce the monolithic microwave integrated circuit MMIC chips of a new generation of airborne phased arrays. In the near term, GAN offers an opportunity to double the detection range of installed AESA radars on several fighter fleets, if power generation and cooling requirements can be met. The shift to GAN opens up design options for a new generation of combat aircraft. Instead of shaping the nose of a fighter around the cross-section of the radar antenna, the extra power-added efficiency of gallium arsenide powerful replacement may lead to installing a smaller array of transmitter-receiver modules up front and distributing networked, multifunctional apertures around the airframe. GAN is already the most promising semiconductor material for the next generation of combat aircraft. But the first fighter to enter service with a GAN-improved fire control radar will not be an American next generation. But it will be air dominance, British Tempest, French or German Future Combat Air System, Japanese FX Korean KF-21 or Swedish JAS-39 AF Gripen. That distinction will instead belong to the US Marine Corps aging Boeing F-A-18AD fleet, an aircraft type still in service only because of delays with the Lockheed Martin F-35 B and C. In late April, Raytheon revealed that a two-year-old project to upgrade radar on the remaining F-A-18A DS-2 and AESA features the first application of GAN in a fire control radar. As with most radio frequency RF device manufacturers, Raytheon has had more than a decade of experience in manufacturing the fickle GAN material. Previous applications ranged from the ground-based Patriot radar to the airborne next-generation JAMA mid-band. But the APG-79 V4 upgrade represents the first application of GAN in a fighter primary RF sensor. The APG-79 V4 in the F-A-18AD Hornet represented merely a scaled-down version of the APG-79 AESA installed inside the larger radome of the F-A-18AF Super Hornet. Radar range is a function of the size and the amount of power transmitted by the array. Although the array of the APG-79 V4 is smaller than the APG-79, the application of GAN, a significantly more efficient semiconductor than gallium arsenide, means that Raytheon can deliver a radar for the F-A-18AD fleet with similar performance as the F-A-18AF's radar. The transition has not been straightforward. Using internal research and engineering funds, Raytheon has converted the gallium arsenide-based MMICS in the transmit-receive modules of the APG-79 to GAN. The greater efficiency of an array of GAN-based transmitter-receiver modules means that more power is being transmitted at the aperture face. As power rises, so does the temperature on the face of the array. The extra heat would overwhelm the forced air cooling system installed in the ray dome of the F-A-18AD, so Raytheon has also installed a liquid cooling system. It is needed that you bring the right amount of cooling solution into that system to take the heat out so that the circuits perform at their optimal level and keep them at the right temperatures for both performance as well as for reliability. The F-A-18AD, however, is only the first step with GAN in Raytheon designed fighter radars. The next logical step is to upgrade the APG-79 on the F-A-18AF with GAN. In a way, the advent of GAN arrays could make fourth-generation fighters such as the F-A-18AF more relevant, as adversaries deploy ground-based air defenses and air-to-air -air intercept missiles with longer range. The F-A-18AF lacks the extent of stealth technology embedded into the Lockheed Martin F-22 and F-35, so maximizing the range of the fire control radar may become a priority. The same principle could also apply to another service using fighters with Raytheon radars. The U.S. Air Force is now fielding the Boeing F-15AX with the APG-82 AESA radar but last December issued a request for information seeking a broad range of potential upgrades. 
Raytheon responded to the solicitation with ideas for applying GAN to the APG82. The ultimate prize for radar manufacturers, however, is the next generation of combat aircraft. In the US, the Air Force and Navy are developing replacements for the F-22 and F-A-18AF, respectively. A highly stealthy aircraft should be able to approach a target more closely without being detected, reducing the range advantage of a GAN-enabled radar. GAN-based sensors offer other benefits, though, including the ability to use smaller arrays and employ frequency hopping techniques over a broader portion of the than gallium arsenide. Radio frequency sensor technology will evolve in the next generation of fighters. A network of multifunctional apertures capable of sensing, jamming and communicating will be distributed across a network of fighters instead of a single aircraft. Raytheon's forward-leaning approach to applying GAN in existing fire control radars may not be universal. Israel Aerospace Industries Elta Systems Division, another fire control radar supplier, confirms that the company has applied GAN to a fighter array but offers no specifics. Improving power performance while reducing the size, weight, and cost of power solutions will allow next-generation radar systems to achieve new levels of multifunction performance. The changing landscape brings with it the drive to achieve open architecture and modular systems. These will require plug-and-play type TR modules that can be easily integrated into AESA radar and multifunction systems. GAN as a key component to meet the challenge for these multifunction systems and open architecture radar development. The inherent high power and excellent efficiency properties of GAN lend itself towards multifunction roles due to the flexibility and capability of the power technology. Through GAN in plastic technology, which combines the best of commercial and military technologies, a new blueprint is being created for swap performance. Surface mount manufacturing, along with small size integrated module solutions that can be combined with additional RF components to form complete TR modules in AESA radar systems, is leading to a true modular RF solution for next generation radar systems. Thank you for watching. Like and subscribe.